that of uh, literally folders, folders. Bomb bombing. Folders. You know what I mean? Going, wow. you, it's been you today. And they pulled coming. out. Fuck yeah, fucking shit loads of. But I didn't realise it was that much. To be fair, I'd love to get them now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the biggest collection. Yeah, yeah. So I was using an alias at the time. I was writing humour, and he was he was writing. Uh, I think he was writing. Yeah, he was writing Kanza. Um and um, they still never found the market was down here. So obviously, I'm, I, I, they've shown me all this. I'm denying all that. Nothing's happening there. Uh, and then they pull this. Then they pull this other folder out. I'm thinking, what's this now? They're just sat there looking, smile, smug. You know what I mean? Looking at me really smug. I'm thinking, this ain't good. I'm getting a bad feeling. Um, then they pulled out another photograph, slapped it on the table. It was me hanging off a tree with a kind of smooth right in my hand. <laughs> they had a photo of you. Yeah, 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 because they rated it from someone else's ass. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official dot com. Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Killer Podcast. Yeah, go cool. here. Yeah, we're inside the mix right now. Killer Keller podcast live and direct, central L- London or s- no, central, yeah, it's central London. Central London or central as you need to be. Choose to be, want to be, you don't want to be anywhere else. Trust me on that one, baby pa. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, Hoddle Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. Um, and yo. Transmitting action in a different location. Big up VIP, Billy inside the place. Uh, if you've got the Kellervision app, you know what time it is. It's free download for all the sport in art, street culture and more. More in store than you bargain for. Right? And this goes for this episode as well, because we're very lucky. Two of my heroes are inside the place. If you have ever been a part of the UK hip-hop scene at large, you'd have known these names back in the 90s and onwards. Nottingham calling the North calling, but they're international, you understand. This is ILC, Dash, Dak, inside the place. How are we? <laughs> we? Right, the mic is there. Let's get into it. Yes. How are we doing? Good, real good. What's, yeah. what's been going on? What uh, are you doing here, first of all? What's going on here in London? Uh, a little paint sesh. Ah. A little paint sesh for the week. <laughs> a paint sesh for the week. Oh, yeah, so, so uh, this is Dash, by the way. This is Dash. And and, and to his right, your left, Dak. is Dak, inside the place. How long have you guys known each other for? Too long. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So yeah, it's it's been a few years. It's um been a while. Um, Give us an approximation. Come on, Dash, you, you you're better with maths than me. Eighties. Eighties. You're going eighties. The eighties. Yeah. So you know, I'd say late let it late eighties. Late eighties. Yeah. So, so around eight, 87, 88, 89. Pretty much period. as hip hop kind of hit the uh, the shores over here. Yeah, yeah we was young. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was big. Yeah. Uh, everyone got hit with it, didn't they? Yeah. Well, not everyone, but we did. And we loved it. And yeah, I mean, they're still doing it now. So, well, the painting side of it anyway. Mm. It doesn't feel to me like a dash, particularly from your side, because I know you mentioned Dak that raving, the raving scene kind of. Yeah, yeah. The 90s got in the way for me for the graffiti. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, drugs. Party poppers. But for you, it's been a constant, hasn't it? It's been evolution. And, and also, by the way, at this point, I must add that you're a producer in your own right with drum and bass and more. Yeah, well, I was doing, I've been doing that. I've been doing that a long time. Mm. But um, recently, I've been doing it a bit more prolifically. Yeah. Um, and less painting, to be fair. Really? Um, but I've always liked the drum and bass. Um, again, went through that period, didn't you, where you didn't paint for a while because of the rave scene and a lot of people went into that familiar story. Mm. And it was good, obviously, and uh, had a big influence on me. Uh, it's, you know, it's music, it's still one of the elements to me, you know, like hip-hop is still, it's just more a, a, an up-to-date version of it and our interpretation of it, you know, here from this country. That's another thing, another big reason why I like it, is drum and bass is, is a UK music. Mm. You said identifying, and it is an identifiable uh, genre. I th- and just to kind of condense that that idea, ILC, Big Up Pulse, of course, and Reason inside the place as well, MTA, which is incredible. Um, yeah, New York represent. Uh, Pulse obviously has, has a foothold in, in the US as well uh, at the yeah, time. Yeah. ILC, generally speaking, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, is, you know, style definers, you know, you, these things that these things are thought through, you know, the, the pieces and the way you're approaching in graph. Yeah. 
production. Oh, um, when I come part of the crew, do you know what I mean? Back in the early 90s, mm. just after I finished the raving. Mm. Mm. Um, I like what these guys were doing anyway, do you know what I mean? Mm. I, I hooked up with them a few times painting, but they mm. was on it all the time. Yeah. Whereas I had, I was in family life at the time, do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, kids and that, so I got out while I could. Mm, mm, mm. And um, yeah, so we've done a few. I came to London, um, 99, I think. Um, done a, where was that? Where do we paint? That, the the <laughs> House of Horrors. House uh, of Horrors. Oh, yeah. That's just up the road, Kilburn. Kilburn. Uh, yeah, oh, right. not far from where. Uh, yeah, Kilburn, not far yeah, from yeah. the train station. Mm. Uh, we did a, um, uh, a big production down there. That was probably one of the biggest things we did first down here. Um, obviously, in the 90s, you travelled around quite a bit and painted different places, and my memory is terrible now. I don't remember a lot of places I painted. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's still be going to this day, still enjoying it, not as prolific as we obviously were back then. Uh, we try. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're all getting older. Uh, but the passion's still there, you know, still love what everybody's doing. Uh, you know, I mean, the scene's it's going where it's going, you know, it's the way it is, you have to accept it. If you want to be part of it, you're part of it. If you don't, you don't. Um, but with the production side of things, that's probably picked up a lot more and therefore I haven't been painting as much, um, which is, it's just being creative. Ultimately, it's about being mm. creative and uh, it's a different outlet, it's a different thing to do. Um, we're writing and painting, and a lot of people have the same story, you know, you get a job, you got a family, you get responsibilities, you get whatever, mortgage, whatever you tie Life. Down. People go in different directions, and there's been some amazing artists who have been in and out of the scene, and that's the way it is. Let's talk about uh, the late 80s, early 90s in Nottingham. Um, Pulse, I've been blessed, Pulse has given me so many stories of back in the day, but uh, it'd be great to hear your accounts because yeah. you, you know, you, you have been conduits throughout the whole period, and even now, you know, you pick up the can, it's like yesterday, like right up front again. Um, it's it would be interesting to know where those foundations started Nottingham was the Nottingham. Place. For me, I'm um South Side Clifton, Nottingham. Um Spiders, we've done a um well Pops one hundred, done a criminal truth jam there. Um I was I was one of the youngest at the time, do you know what I mean? I still painted there. I grabbed a board, do you know what I mean? Thought, yeah, I'm painting. Enough writers from around the country mm. there, um, Sheffield, down to Kent, I think school, I'm not sure. Mm. But yeah, Stevenage, York it was a big jam, big jam at the time. Um, and then he'd done a part two, Criminal Truth part two. Um, I think that was 89. There was a lot of jams. Yeah, a lot, of, a jams. lot of jams going yeah, off yeah, around yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sheffield were doing jams, with Bridlington yeah, jams, yeah, yeah, all yeah, them Bridlington jams. London were doing jams. Uh, but you guys but that was on my doorstep. That was like right. literally on my estate, do you know what I mean? So it was like, <laughs> for me, it was like, Wow. I'll have a bit of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that was a lot of inspiration uh, for me, personally, do you mm. know what I mean? It's like, obviously, Pops 100 was a big inspiration. He's a big writer, um, big up Pops. He was a big big yeah, writer yeah, of his yeah, time, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, amazing artist uh, and big inspiration on a lot of people. Uh, it was a big name in Nottingham around the time. Uh, mm. There was loads of other writers in the city, though, a lot of talent that were doing things. Back then, obviously, it was a lot of bombing, and as people were developing with styles and where it was going, it became a, uh, progressed a lot more. Nottingham's always had a pretty strong scene in that sense. Very right. progressive, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of good um, artists. But then also local, you know, Birmingham. You know, boy, I mean, so many good artists coming out of Birmingham and Sheffield around the same time, and like he says, York, and then the North. So, you know, as far as the North was concerned, it had a lot of, a lot of good writers. Yeah. They were progressing and coming through, and it was just getting bigger and bigger. Well, everything's kind of interconnected in the North, and I say that, you know, as a very naive uh, speaking Southerner that seems to think the world rotates mm. around him. Um, <laughs> but the North really holds it down, like Sheffield. It's all Sheffield, interconnected, yeah, yeah, and yeah, everyone Sheffield. travels, don't they? Everywhere, everywhere, has its, everywhere has its dues, you know. There's a lot of different cities, a lot of different writers from all over this country. This country has got a lot, had it, and did, and still does, you know, have a good scene. There are a lot of good writers around. Um, I lived in Sheffield for two years and that had a massive influence on me. Crazy scene in the 90s, huh? Uh, yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I was, all I did was bombed in Sheffield. I didn't do anything else. I was a kid, so I was out on the street. I, my parents had split up and I, I didn't have anywhere to go. You could ride the bus for 2p then days. So you could go anywhere. 2p. <laughs> and, you know, awesome crime team, awesome crime team and uh, here to impress H2I and all them writers and you had, um, obviously, Ease all them all them days. Yes. Which, had a, again, right. for Ooh. me, 
uh, really pushed me forward to do a lot more. Um, but then I moved back to Nottingham. Nottingham had a strong scene, and then that just continued from there, really. Just perpetuated and topped up each time. Yeah, yeah. Spon sponsored by McDonald's at this point. Big up Pulse for the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, cool, yeah. for the refreshments. <laughs> Supplies. <laughs> um, yeah, there's something about the North, and I, I guess I guess with I guess with what you discovered there in terms of okay, that was bombing, then progressing into different. You almost like built you built your stamina up, didn't it? Yeah, it's a common common story, isn't it, between writers? I mean, a lot of people hopefully progress, want to progress. Where are you going with it? What do you want to do? Do you want to be all city? Do you want to get up and bomb the hell out of everything? Mm. Amazing. I love I love bombing. Don't get me wrong. But I don't do it, really. I don't. I wish I could. But that bullshit of excuses you can say of, oh, you've got responsibilities. I was a single parent. I had to bring up my kid and go to work full time. And that took over a lot of my time. Uh, and, you know, I don't live being a writer anymore. And that I haven't done since I was a youth, mm -hmm. really. Talk to me about um, Dak. Talk to me about early ILC. Talk, talk to me about how the crew was uh, formed back in back in the day. For, well, at the at the time in, in Nottingham, um, ILC was before I started. I was I was painting with Pulse mm -hmm. and and Dash on and off, but I was more like raving at the time. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, for me, I wasn't in the crew at the time, but I was painting with them. Um, so Paul said always ring, say, yeah, we're painting here, you come in, you can just drop a character, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, where's all this new paint? It's like, at the time, it was just car paint, what I was dealing with, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it was coming out with all these new cans. I was like, what? Do you know what I mean? So that was a buzz, like, mm. new paint and all that when, when it come in. It was early 90s, wasn't it? The, yeah. the paint and that, paint that that changed a lot. I was like, "Why are these colours?" Do you know what I mean? It's like, so for me, I was like, "Yeah." So I painted a lot, and then um, Pulse introduced me to the crew. Uh -huh. um, after painting a few times, which was cool. Do you know what I mean? I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm with the boys." Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, so that was kind of at its inception. You were. It was almost like slowly you were inducted. You had to yeah, be yeah, yeah, you almost yeah. like seem to be in action yeah. and moving. Yeah, because I was doing my own thing at the time. Like you say, I was the nineties took of me. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? I was out all the time partying. Um, we had a we had a crew, uh, Mom Squad at the time. Um, Scoobs, um, R.I.P. Scoobs, man. If you um, lived it, it was in your blood. Yeah, no matter yeah. when you, if you went raving or whatever you did, if you really lived it and it was in your blood, it was really difficult to get rid of painting and graffiti, you know. So if you went out of it for a little period of time and did other things, he was always going to pull you back at some point, mm. you know. Uh, I think oh, that I'm doing it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's an addiction. Everyone will tell that to you, it's an addiction. And, you know, addictions are, are sometimes really difficult to kick. It's mm. up to you. Uh, but it gets older. When it's got older, you, you know, it's got older. You. Um, mm. As I say, all this shit gets in the way, doesn't it? Work, work, and other things. You need to live. We all need to live at the end of the day, and, and uh, things take over. But yeah, it, when it's in your blood, that's it. You know. So I went off raving loads, you know, partying and doing all that type of thing. You got experience life. You can't just write all your life and not do all the shit. I think you got to go out there, and there's so many more oh, things yeah, in the world yeah. to do. You know. But uh, painting will never leave you if it's in your blood. I don't think. I can't speak for everyone, but that's certainly the case for me. I've got to let the well refill, in it, you know, with new inspirations and mm. stuff like that. Um, who like, stick in with the ILC thing? Because you know, for the, for the people that are just introduction, big up the international crew. Who, who give me the names that are in ILC as it stands right now? Go, <laughs> Pulse. Yep. Uh, Re. Uh -huh. Me. Dak. <laughs> uh, best. Uh, best Cardiff. Card yeah, is in Wales. Uh, um, oh, it's been a long day. You know. Posia. Uh, Posia. Yeah, Posia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nort. Uh, Craze. Craze, yeah. Uh, uh, Boaster. Uh, so, let me think. Let's uh, <laughs> <laughs> try. Pressure's on now, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I'll get shit. Um, I can't think. Anyone. Cuddly Teddy going past. <laughs> yeah. We've been I'll, in the I'll sun pass, all day, Jamie. He's beating on down. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, there's the core of the crew, um, as it stands. Um, Re met him a few years ago. Um, 
obviously an inspiration. Someone like that who's been painting trains in New York since the 70s. Yeah. Uh, and uh, put us down with uh, his crew, MTA. Uh, Mad Master, Transit Artists. Yeah, they got MTA as well, man. Master Taggers Association. <laughs> it's, it's got lots of different names, yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, it's nice to have that uh, association with people always have people to look up to and who they respect for whatever reason and to be invited into that is nice um, especially by someone like me who was painting when i was born do you know what i mean <laughs> just 73 do you know what i mean I'm still then still out there still out there with us now man just on it and i think you know we, we, are, we are certainly pretty old school you might say i mean there are obviously a lot of people a lot of people have been painting way before we have and then there's different generations and uh, I would say we probably are old school. I mean, I'm 50 this year. Uh, he's the same. <laughs> so we've been painting since we were kids. 50. Um, we've got loads of mad stories about Five. mad, crazy things, doing mad, going mad places, and they're good memories to have, and you never forget them. And uh, you know, part of you wanted to go out there and do it, but life evolves. You can't always relive everything every day. Uh, you think you've got to move on. But um, I'm happy where I am with it. You know. do, you, do you ever? St you never stop learning, right? I mean, like just out oh, there. No. Do you know what I mean? Like you got techniques and never, no, never. Learning, do you? you know, I think. I mean, well, there's so many good artists coming out and just some amazing stuff. Do you know what I mean? You're like, wow. It's it, you can't stop. You look at techniques and you think, wow. Do you know what I mean? You're learning all the time. Paul's is just. He's just a demon. Just techni technical skills. Oh. So if we're doing something wrong, you gotta do that. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> look <laughs> that bit there. Like cut back. I concur. He, he's done that to me before yeah, plenty yeah, of times, yeah, yeah. just in sketches alone. Just like yeah, yeah. Because you've been out now, haven't you? Been doing he keeps you on. Yeah, yeah Paul keeps you on really, top. I'm really happy to see. That's Thank good, you. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've been kicking it actually. Yeah, yeah. Trying. Yeah, trying. Up against yeah. you, like you know. Listen. And I found this with the podcast, you know, to do the, the painting means more vocabulary when talking about it. But ultimately, if you're listening to podcasts, it's hard not to like it. Like, and then when you see how y you guys have developed over the years and that, you know, and people yeah. of your generation still still doing it and generations older still doing it. It's so inspiring, man. People like it for different elements and, mm. uh, um, I, you know, it always remain the same. You know, if I when I first got into graph, it was because I was on a bus and I seen some guy stand up in front of me with, with a torch marker and start writing in front of everyone on the bus. And, uh, I was with my old man. Um, I must have been 12, 13. Uh, it was a guy called Panic, H2I, H2I in Sheffield, uh, which is a crew called Here to Impress. That was the first time I, first time I ever seen anyone with a marker as size of a torch marker. So we were talking early, talking 84, 85, around that period. Um, uh, it just blew me away. That hooked me up, just seeing someone write on the bus. Um, with style. Style was always a thing for me. I mean, I think I love to see bombing. I love to see, you know, uh, places look fucked up and all the rest of it. And, you know, people being prolific and doing that. I always prefer it if it's got style to it. And style to me has always been a driving force behind whatever I've done because I've always made to try and make something a bit more stylish, even a bit more stylish or something a little bit different or try and keep some form of style to it. And therefore, everyone has their own style and that's good. Um, try and keep your own style, try and develop what you do and mm. make it your own. We're all inspired, inspired and we take from other people. Yeah, how far is too far, though, when you're being inspired as opposed to... How do you... Well, if you go start writing Dash tomorrow and your outlines look like mine, <laughs> I'm thinking, <laughs> that may be a step too yeah. far. But, uh, I mean, you know, that's because you've just taken it you've not really done anything with it, yeah. you know. So uh, if you even if you start going right and dash out tomorrow, you did it in a completely different style and you did it in your style or whatever. And I was, I'm, I'm like, yeah, if you're developing that and you're, you're working on that and making it as tight as you can, as good as you can, then, you know, that right. for me is buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's good. You're doing what you're doing. Mm. Um, there are days gone by where we were very competitive and there's that old school B-boy thing and... Uh, is that still there though, boys? Is that I still have a lot of respect for uh, writers and generations and even the new writers? I, you know, I have a lot of respect for them yeah, and what yeah, they're yeah. doing because shit that they're doing we now. We all started there. Yeah. At the end of the day, and we shit all that, started there. So shit, it's... yeah, shit that they're doing now is crazy. You know, and I love it. Mm. Love to see that. It's yeah, I like to see new new artists coming through. Obviously, growing up, do you know what I mean? It's like when you had the, the peers, if you like. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Do you think there was more freedom that you guys had to create and expand on what the first generation had set up? Felt like that. It felt like there was a lot more to explore than perhaps there is even now. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, it's 
mad, isn't it? How it's gone, where it's gone. I mean, what we saw, what we saw, what came from the States, when it came from the States, blew us away. Mm. You go, oh, how the fuck did they do that? I mean, I was, I remember writing back in the day when there was, when, <clears throat> when there's mods about, but I used to go racking in the shop, yeah, just to get little tins and just write mods or, or, um, what is it, madness. Uh, yeah, 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 madness and, and all that in the bus station. This when, or, or I was only a little kid, do you know what I mean? It was like, this is England. I was like that little kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this is England. I used to be like tagging up, do you know what I mean? But that, and then we used to get like, Nick bikes and stuff, and then Nick spray paint to spray the bikes a different colour, yeah? And then the rest of the paint, you just went round, just tagging. Stop it. Yeah, so you don't, you, you don't even know you're doing graffiti. You're just Mr. Moon yeah, Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like my, my original name. That was my first piece. Still got a photo of it. So good. But, but yeah, yeah, just crazy but that's we didn't even know what tagging was until everything come out it was like what is like yeah, i say wild style and, i don't think the media knew what they were doing yeah yeah or warriors like, Shit the train, like, like, that. like the media didn't know what they were doing at the time but every time they would document or, or make a public account of someone doing some quote-unquote vandalism mm. that almost became that that became the the, uh, the, the the energy to get you guys out. Well, we're doing that then. That looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they, would, they, they just had no idea what they were doing. Yeah. <laughs> it it all into a lot of other shit. I mean, there was loads of other crap you could get yourself involved in, crime-wise, potentially. Uh, <laughs> and that, uh, again, a lot of people say the same thing. It kept me out of fucking trouble. I went and did, yeah, we well, went and did this, went and did that, but it kept me out of prison. I went, yeah, I might yeah, have yeah. caught for graft, but I could have got caught for a lot of other shit that I should have was kept me out from doing, you know. Mm. The influences, depending on where you lived, uh, I moved around a, a, a hell of a lot in my youth, so I've, fucking, I've lived in some good places, I've lived in some pretty shit places. Um, and, you know, you can easily get drawn into crap, easily. Mm. What, um, crap? Crap. <laughs> <laughs> and crack if you're not careful. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids, yeah, no matter what so we're no, talking mate, about, no, all right? Crack, crack, crack. I'm just crackers. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking of which, then, let's get into some, uh, let's get into some graph stories. Dak, I'll let you start off. Ooh. Give us one of your most notorious stories that uh, can be talked and broadcast in public. Wow. Mm. Um, notorious? Who can remember after? Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. No, no, it just killed me. Um... No, I got I got caught for um Oh no. Right, I got caught for the robbing of statue in Nottingham. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That was a, that was a big thing back then, a big thing of that, that was a, Yeah. So it was it the yeah. it the pages, you know what I mean? I was only juvenile at the time, so I was like um fifteen, sixteen or whatever. Yeah. Um and I had a older friend who was in prison. I kinda grasped myself up. Because <laughs> not knowing at the time, I wrote him a letter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> Kill it off now. <laughs> you get me? It's yeah. like, I look back now and I think, what? So they read the letter, didn't they? Mm, so mm. seven in the morning, CRD, <laughs> at my door. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? My mum's like, he ain't going nowhere till he's had his breakfast. <laughs> Sit down. Have your breakfast. I'm on in his trousers. But the CID was just like, no, mate, we got to, we got to take your son, do you know what I mean? So it's like, so yeah, so I, I got caught for the Robin Hood statue. Um, and they gave me community service um, at 16, juvenile, which was annoyed off at the time. Um, and I had to go at the weekends. So I'd done the school in the week. Yeah. And at the weekends, I had to do community service to clean up the place, like. Like going in people's houses and cleaning the walls and stuff and yeah, we got like, off kind of yeah. You know so, what I mean? so for me that was like a big. They got me for DAC then. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't no longer tag DAC Shit. everywhere. Do you know what I mean? That sounds like quite a case in itself. That it sounds like quite a uh, defi <laughs> a law defining case of its oh, time. Yeah, by yeah, sounds yeah, like. yeah. It was. Um, we all had a few. It, it, it hit the papers and that um, and the news and that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, knew what I, was, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> it made the front page. It made the front page. That's why I'd done it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ma, yeah. I made it. <laughs> well, in them days, no internet, no mobile yeah, phones, yeah. all that shit. So anyone saw anything, that was a good way of getting seen. Shit. Yeah. What about you then, Dash? Give us a give us a classic Dash graph story. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, one of the reallys. Uh 
Okay. Um, me and a guy in uh, Nottingham writes, uh, used to write Kanza at the time. And mm. we, were, we, were bus, we were on buses all day, bombing buses all day. Um, and uh, Big up Paul. Bus driver, yeah, big up Paul. Um, and must. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, they got clocked. We got, bus driver came upstairs, tended to go to the back of the bus and lock the bus. And he was checking out what we'd been doing, basically. We just got on this bus and we'd hit it. Uh, he went back downstairs, um, radioed it in. And we thought someone was dodgy. He needs to get off the bus. He had most of the shit on him, like markers and all that. I had a torch marker. I just, I just took, took it down my trousers. Um, we knew film was going to happen, so we're trying to get in. As we was going, as we was getting into the city, we think we're going to get off early. He locked the doors, so we couldn't get off early. So, was, and he wouldn't stop the bus. So the buses just keep going. Um, he pulls into a, a road in the city centre, and there's all five, six um, NCT conductors or whatever. Inspector, yeah, 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 and a fucking meat wagon coming down the road. Uh, we can't get out the bus, do the emergency thing, get out the doors. They're all waiting at the doors. He's grabbed, I'm grabbed. He's going one way, I'm going the other way. He manages to get away and he's gone. I don't manage to get away. I've got three or four of them on me and I'm trying to fight them and that's not happening, do you know what I mean? So they're all getting me, I'm fucked. Meat wagon's pulled up anyway. And I'm not going <laughs> anywhere, do you know what I mean? Take me back to the station. I'm young, I'm about, I don't know what I must have been, I don't know, 15, or something like that. Uh, certainly wasn't very old, 15, 16. Took me back to the station and uh, they, they can't strip search me, so they never found the marker on me. They never had, it was before cameras and all that shit. So nothing, they couldn't really get anything on that. So I thought, oh, I'm, I'm all right, I'm, I should be able to get out. As I thought I was getting out, it didn't happen. Someone, two officers in Nottingham and uh, anyone in Nottingham who got busted around them towns will know these names Kerman and Waite. Two, Two police officers, which was Vandal's, mm, Van Van yes, Van they were Vandal Squad basically in Nottingham at that time, and they were they were paid to go out and do raids and basically clean up Nottingham, go around nick, nicking all the rioters as much as they could. Unbeknown to me, a house of another rioter that they bombed, they raided not that not that long before, uh, whose name was Tez. Uh, he was, was right cute at the time. He's right sober now, I think. Big up Tez. Uh, he's living in the uh, states. Um, mm. They raided his house. Um, and uh, got loads of shit from his ass. Um, unbeknown to me, I'm thinking when I'm getting out of the police station now, and uh, then I get called. I've got to go speak to two other officers, CID basically, these were at the time. Uh, pull me into a room, pull out this, you know, the, you got the, the polar when it comes out quick, what's it called? Um, it just basically, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the old school, yeah, 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 yeah. just they had a, they had a, uh, Literally folders, folders. Bomb bombing. Folders. You know what I mean? Going, wow. you, you, it's been you today. And they pulled out. Gone. Fuck yeah, fucking shit loads of. But I didn't realise it was that much. To be fair, I'd love to get them now. Mm. <laughs> 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 They've got the biggest collection. Yeah, yeah. So I was using an alias at the time. I was writing humour, and he was he was writing. Uh, I think he was writing, yeah, he was writing Kanza. Um, and um, they still never found the market was down here. So obviously, I'm. I, I, they've shown me all this. I'm denying all that. Nothing's happening there. Uh, and then they pull this, then they pull this other folder out. I'm thinking, what's this now? They're just sat there looking, smile, smug, you know what I mean? Looking at me really smug. I'm thinking, this ain't good. I'm getting a bad feeling. Um, then they pulled out another photograph, slapped it on the table. It was me hanging off a train with a kind of smooth right in my hand. <laughs> they had a photo of you. Yeah, yeah, because they raided it from it someone else's ass. ass. Oh, <laughs> God. And he's not blacked my face out and all that shit. I'm holding on this train. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a scrap train. It was down Leicester way. So I'd done a dub on it saying Dash. I've got a kind of smooth right in my hand like that. I'm hanging off it. And he's written on the back my name and telephone number <laughs> at the time and my address. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. We was all young and stupid at the time, do you know what I mean? It's like, so that's I'm just bang, I'm young and right. stupid. I'm fucked. <laughs> what, what can I say? Do you know what I mean? They've got me on that. Um, they said to me, the reason why we didn't come to your house earlier, because at the time, they had that for a while. I was thinking, why, 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 why didn't they pull it out? Yeah. Out? yeah. They said to me at the time, because my parents had been married, it was under a different name to my name. So the name on the back of the photo didn't correlate with the name that was registered at the house. So they didn't come around and raid the house. For that time, I, was, I was late to get busted. If I'd have known that earlier, I could have got rid of those yeah, shit. But yeah. They still had the photo anyway, so what could I do? But these were scrap trains. They didn't cause any problems. Uh, and I was too young, so I got basically got off with it with a uh, community service. Wow. 
Easy days. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, 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 get it when you're young. Huh? That was dash for me then. I was, I thought, fuck. That's it. It's your name. Like, you know, how do you get legal. out of that? Um, you can change it. I've had loads of aliases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads of aliases. Yeah, yeah. Loads of aliases. I didn't even start, I, yeah, dash was a name. I started writing uh, fairly early on, but I was writing bombing and early names like Trust. I was in a crew called ATD, All Time Devastators. They were on a, uh, a little bit of a rivalry with ACT at the time, Awesome Crime Team. Or, all City Taggers was the original name. Mm. Shouts out to Mist. Mist, Des, Big Des. Up Snuck, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All that, man. Uh, and and Risk as well, Joe. Joe, I, 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 met, I met Joe when I lived in Sheffield. Uh, really nice guy. Prolific bomber at the time. I mean, he was out, he was all city. He was everywhere. As far as the buses was concerned, because buses was a big thing then. They didn't have a tram system. They didn't have no... They had trains. And I lived not far from a train station, uh, um, a, um, a layup in Darnall. And I... Uh, Pretty crazy. It was a bit of a rough area actually at the time. Went to school there, hated it. School was bombed. I never went to a school that was bombed like that. Sheffield was fucked. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Sheffield compared was... to any other city at that time, when you went into the heart of the city, it was fucked. The transport system in itself was fucked. And it was great to ride because it was cheap as fuck. Um, and that got me into bombing. That's really what That's got me hooked. Yeah, Sheffield has always been a beast, isn't it? All time devastators, wreck. That they, they're from that crew. Um, I mean, names elude me over time, but um, I mentioned Panic. Uh, Easel was a prolific writer from over there. But Joke, man, he was fucking... And Risk, them guys, uh, yeah. A lot of respect for all of them, because they had a massive influence on me. Uh, heavy writers, heavy writers at the time. And Des was going to New York and back again, wasn't he? You know, he was, he was just one of the... He was one of the first people that were yeah, actually yeah. going out there, bringing back the memorabilia yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what's actually going on over there, mm. right? And yeah, with Des, I'm not sure, but I know Pulse was out there all the time. I, I knew Pulse, like the top writers in Nottingham at the time, when I was growing up, it was like Pulse, yeah. Craze, yeah. and Pops 100. So they, they was my, like... Pulse is just... Pulse, yeah. For a, I mean, that man, and being, you know, primary ILC yeah, head honcho, yeah, yeah. he has literally travelled the fuck. He's, he's burnt a hole yeah. in the transit system of New York. I, I went to school with Alert. <laughs> alert, yeah. Uh, yeah. Big up Alert, alert yeah. Alert, man. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> alert, come on. Me, me, and him have done some, me and him have done some crazy shit. I can tell you, when we were kids, just done all, just all kinds of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he still paints now, you know. Um, again, you know, family life and shit like that and all them things uh, take over. Um, but, you, you, know, you lose the passion for these things, and it, you know when it's in your blood, as I said, I don't think it ever goes away. Um, but yeah, me and Phil did a lot of things back in the day. So say we went to school together. Um, so we were talking about when we were eleven and twelve, really the breaking days, you know. Um, that element of it again, which is he was a Clifton the first. Yeah, it was he? He was a Clifton. Yeah, yeah. man from Clifton. Wasn't yeah, he? <laughs> he went to Greencroft. I went to Brinkley yeah. Infants. He was across the way. So <laughs> local, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me, mom, just mind just blows, you know, yeah, like these yeah. dons, all, all of a sudden it turns out, transpires that they all yeah. operated, had tuck money together and, you know, went out to cinema. <laughs> and sh yeah, buy yeah, ice pops yeah. and stuff, you know. Madness. Um, well, look, I won't keep you for too long because obviously, you know, you're, you're travelling people, you've got things to do, you've got yeah. pieces to paint. But, um, yeah, we've uh, got to clean up, man. Clean up, yeah, <laughs> they're trying to eat their dinner and everything, Kels is just no, interrupting no, his flow cool, state. Yeah. Um, any shout-outs you'd like to give, gentlemen? Oh, What's the future? Man, Tell us more. Tell us no shout-outs. For me, on the music one at the minute, I'm, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the uh, production side of things. Um, big shout-out to the labels that are supporting me. Uh, Soul Deep from LA, uh, Wicked uh, Liquid Drum and Bass label. Uh, Smooth and Groove from Northampton, also based in the States. Um, uh, default Recordings. Um, and FX909 from, from France, uh, another wicked producer, um, who have opened the door for me and, and have been really supportive in the music, on the music side of things uh, for me, which is where, you know, at the moment, a lot of my time is centered around doing that. Uh, I'm really passionate about it. And I think it's amazing how many people are into drum and bass love graph. Mm. Uh, and uh, the connection between the two. I think you had Scotty on here. Doc Scotty was talking about it. And big up Doc Scott. All yes. them, all them other dons have inspired big old Doc me. Like Scott, Kenny Ken, <laughs> yeah, Kenny Ken on, didn't you? And, um, and he was big into graph as well. Like he, you know, he's a big fan a, of it. You know? Yeah, it surprised me after, uh, but it hasn't in the same way because you know it's again it's a creative element of what street culture is to a certain extent. It's the youth culture. It's 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 a whole movement, isn't it, mm. really, to a certain extent. As Goldie has done so well with the music and yeah. where he's pushed it, you know, and that's he's massive inspiration again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Another one, yeah. 
Um, so shouts out to all my crew. Shouts out to my mum. Shouts out to me, my, <laughs> my daughter Ella. Yeah. Um, my partner Irene, who cut her finger up real bad yesterday, so I'm hoping she's she's doing all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah so um, uh, uh, hopefully I'm forgetting anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously Paul's. Paul's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. yeah man. Dak, what about you, my brother? Futures and shout outs. Futures and shout outs. Big up my sons. Mm. Yeah, both sons, big and little son. Well, they're both bigger than me now anyway, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my daughter. Um yeah, just the crew. Just the crew. There's names I could mention, but my memory's just uh, I just my head's blown today. I've just, I've just knocked my son out nearly outside. Uh, oh, yeah, you need to yeah. sell it. Yeah, yeah, man. I nearly walked into a, to, you know, to... to, to oh, Accident and emergency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, the sunstroke as well. I, I can't think, man. It's been a long day in the sunshine. Well, on that note, we'll let you go and enjoy the sunshine, people. Thank you so much for joining us. Billy, big up yourself. Yeah, Give us a big madness in the house. Yo, 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 it's mad again in the house. <laughs> Thanks for My brother, thank you. Heroes of mine will be heroes of yours. Check Jeez. them out on the streets. Dash, stack, ILC, big up Pulse, big All up right. Re. We are like that. Killer, killer podcast. Our lighting was our fashion. Crime don't pay, but neither do they. You stay lucky, people. Ooh. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wicked. Yeah,